Attention to my fan base. I'm using my platforms to spread awareness of the world's current situation. I advise you all do the same. I'm about to play a video. Please spread the word. Thank you. People of the world, we are Ukrainians and we have a message for you. We were children yesterday. We had dreams about a wonderful future ahead of us. But today, fighter jets and ballistic missiles are piercing our land. Russia is invading a country. Killing us. Destroying our homes. We stand to democracy and freedom. Against tyranny and Russian fascist imperialism. The Ukrainian military forces with their courage and sacrifice are stopping the advance of the Russian invaders on the ground, air and sea. We are going to step into this fight and defend our cities until our last breath. We shall defend our country no matter the cost. We shall never surrender. You have done a lot to support us. But more work needs to be done. Putin is not afraid of empty words. Demand from your leaders to ban Russia from SWIFT. Establish no-fly zone over Ukraine. Stop fossil fuel purchases from Russia. This will stop the war. Act now. Slava Ukraini. Changing your pup won't change. What's happening it may show that you support them, but it won't help if you wanna help. Please consider donating to actual websites. If you can't donate, then do what I'm doing and just spread the message. Side note, not all Russians are bad and this isn't an attack on them. I just want the Ukrainians.to stay safe. Quick little update on the situation in Ukraine. Capital city of Kiev has been hit with multiple airstrikes. Poland is sending trucks of ammunition into Ukraine to help. Poland has also completely opened its border to Ukrainian refugees. That means they no longer need a passport, ID, proof of vaccination, anything. They can even bring a pet and just enter Poland to get away. The Ukrainian military is currently clashing with the Russian military in Kiev. They have called on anyone who is able to hold the gun to fight back against the Russians. They have even suggested that the residents of Kiev make Molotov cocktails. Also, the NATO response force has been activated for the first time in history. No, that does not mean World War III, it is just NATO's way of reassuring its members. And that's what's going on. Good question. The answer is yes. The US and other NATO countries have sent in mostly medical supplies, and the US has provided Ukraine with military supplies over the last few years and in the past few weeks as well. Also, all the countries around Ukraine have declared a state of emergency. This is because so many people are fleeing out of Ukraine. So for the civilians that are able to get out, there is help waiting. Here's what has happened so far in the Russian invasion of Ukraine. They have been attacking primarily military targets instead of civilian ones, thankfully. These include military bases, military headquarters, and airports. They have seized control of Chernobyl. Why that was one of the first things they wanted to do, we still don't know for sure. They have recently started bombing hospitals, and they are starting to move closer to the capital of Kiev. I also wanted to point this out because not a lot of people are talking about it. While yes, no country is backing Ukraine up, Ukraine isn't completely defenseless like the news is kind of making it seem. Ukraine has an active duty military of over 200,000. Now is that a lot compared to Russia's military? No. But the Ukrainian military has taken out six Russian fighter jets, helicopters, and other Russian military vehicles. What's the death toll? The actual count is probably higher, but so far we have a confirmed total of 137 civilian and military Ukrainian deaths. And I haven't found any information on the Russian death toll so far. But that's what's going on. The Russian president's end goal is to overthrow Ukraine's government so they'll become a part of Russian. His end goal is not to kill everyone even, though that's how it seems. Rest in peace to all the souls lost. I hope they enjoy their after lives. The famous hacker Anonymous is against Putin's ideas and has declared cyber war against him. That's all I know can talk about. Goodbye and thanks for listening. Also, I'm still on break.